Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 gives a lot of flexibility for creating your own streaming infrastructure with Nimble Streamer. This tutorial shows all steps needed to create an EC2 instance, install the Nimble Streamer there, and then set up SRT stream input and a playback output. Go to AWS website and sign into the console. We skipped the login step, but you should be familiar with it. Being in console, click on EC2 service. Choose instances. Then click on launch instance. Now choose Amazon AMI. We prefer Ubuntu 20.04 64-bit. The instance type should be selected according to your requirements, like what network performance you need for handling incoming and outgoing streams, how much processing you plan doing there, will you use DVR and so on. We'll choose the T2 micro type, which will be enough for our tutorial. Choose your type and click review and launch. Before launching the instance, we need to set up its security group to open up the interfaces which we may need for setup and streaming. That includes ports for SSH, ping, HTTP-based protocols like HLS, then also RTMP, RTSP, and UDP ports for SRT. Notice that we didn't set up limitation on IP addresses ranges. We opened up ports for being accessed from any IP. Click Review and Launch to get the next screen. We also need to create and download a key pair for accessing the server. Now launch it. The instance is up and running. Now let's connect to it. Open SSH client tab on the instance page. Open your console and go to the directory where you've recently downloaded a key pair. Then change permissions by using cmod command copy it on that page. Now execute the SSH connection command as shown there. Now we've logged into EC2 instance, which we've created. You can see the internal IP address is the same as we see on instance page. The IP address can also be used for connection instead of predefined hostname. Now let's install Nimble Streamer by following instructions on its website and register it using WMS Panel account credentials. You can see new server in the panel is active. You can now use it in your streaming setup. We now add public IP address of that server to our server instance for convenience of further usage. Now we're on live stream settings page. You can see HLS Dash and SLDP are enabled as playback protocols on this server. Let's add interfaces to receiving RTMP and RTSP input streams. You may need them for related scenarios. Next step is to set up SRT input in listen mode on one of the available ports. We also check add outgoing stream box so Nimble would create the output automatically. Let's check if all designated interfaces are used by Nimble Streamer. We'll use various tools for that.
Now we are ready to publish SRT stream into Nimble instance. Let's use vMix as our source. We'll have time preset to create the picture. Go to output settings and use server IP and previously defined port as a destination for your SRT output. Now open live streams page in WMS panel and check outgoing streams. We have set Nimble to create the output automatically, so now it appeared on this page. Now we just need to check HLS MPEG dash on SLDP output. We use player's test page on WMS panel for that. Here's HLS. Then MPEG dash. And finally, SLDP low latency stream. So our Amazon EC2 instance is fully functional and we have a complete streaming pipeline.